Another way to graph lines is by finding intercepts. First, what is an intercept? Well, we've got two intercepts, an x-intercept and a y-intercept, one for the x-axis, one for the y-axis. The x-intercept is the point where the graph crosses the x-axis, and the y-intercept is the point where the graph crosses the y-axis. So, what does this mean? Think of it like a game of football. Down, set, hike. Boom, where this pass gets intercepted, where the line gets intercepted by the x-axis, that is the x-intercept. Blue, 42, finding intercepts, hike. Shh. Boom, where this line gets intercepted by the y-axis, we will find our y-intercept. So we've got our x-intercept crossing the x-axis at the point negative four, zero, and our y-intercept crossing the y-axis at the point zero, one. Now to find intercepts with an equation, we could do something pretty fancy. Notice on this graph here on the x-axis, every point has a y-value of zero. If we have negative five, zero, negative three, zero, 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 one, zero, four, zero, six, zero, any point on the x-axis always has a y-coordinate of zero. So to find the x-intercept, we want to plug zero in for y. Let's use this equation, x plus 2y equals 4, to find the x-intercept. In other words, if we were making an xy table, we would want 0 to be our y value. So let's take that 0 and plug it right into y and solve for x. That'll give us x plus 2 times 0 equals 4, or x equals 4. We can do something very similar to find the y-intercept. Every point on the y-axis has an x-coordinate of 0, 0, 5, 0, 3, 0, 1, 0, negative 2, 0, negative 6, 0, negative 5,280. No matter where it is on the y-axis, the x-coordinate will always be 0. So, all we need to do to find the y-intercept is plug in 0 for x. Plugging that 0 in for x, we'll get 0 plus 2y equals 4. We can solve for there to get a y-value of 2. And just like that, we found our x-intercept at the point 4, 0, and our y-intercept at the point 0, 2. If we wanted to graph this line, all we need to do is the same thing we did when we made a table. Plot these points and connect those dots. And there we've got our line, our x-intercept at the point 4, 0, our y-intercept at the point 0, 2, and then we drew our line right across those dots.